What's up, everybody? I'm Nova coming at you with another one. Figure we would check in on Bitcoin. Uh, we're on this pullback. It looks like we're like so close to our destination of 41.9, I think is what we called. Uh, the 50 is sitting right at 42, so a wick down below, not uncommon. Um, this wick was 28.8. 28.8 and that's the 50 was sitting at 29.6 so I think it's totally doable uh, still now I was looking at this bounce and then finding resistance see how that closed these candles here formed a uh, bit of resistance and then pushed the price back down I was thinking that we might be getting one of those and I don't know if this failed uh, or not, and then it continued down, at which point we're probably looking at uh, here where we might see a double bottom, well, a Quasimodo double bottom on the 50 as the 50 is climbing. So uh, I think we're still, we still have the ability to come down and test and then maybe test again before we head up. A little bit of a, a zigzag uh, is possible. And then, I mean, if this thing shoots up, then the 41.9 might be a little later on and we would likely shoot up to about, I don't know, 55, uh, 56, 56,000 and then come back down and test 41.9. That might be what's going to happen, but right now, what is the trend? The trend is down. Uh, there's a whole bunch of elation happening right now because they see this big green candle which is good. I mean, that's kind of an entry signal. Uh, it could be remnants of this. So maybe tomorrow we're going to see a mad run up to um, a resistive point and then a big sell off and then some sideways indecision. Uh, and it's right along the 20 average. So we're just poking through the 20 average now. That is possible. And the big wick might actually come up to about 54,000. So I think 56 to 54,000 might be the next leg. And if you look at uh, <laughs> YouTube thumbnails, um, they're all talking about the bounce. So this could be the bounce. We don't know if that's a directional change or not. We just see that as a big candle uh, on the four hour resistance right so this might be the zigzag up uh, it also might be the rollover coming back down to test the three 350 day average uh, or the 200 again i'm looking at the 350 because 41.9 was our target we're still uh, approaching that however uh 44.9 another two thousand dollars up uh, sorry, another three thousand dollars up is sitting at the the two hundred. So these are two price points. It could be that if we go sideways, the two hundred will kind of ride solo here, and the three fifty here. Then we'll see that final wick um, before we uh, continue to higher highs. So what do we have right now? We have a a uh, these are all lower lows and lower highs and now we have a higher high well in order for us to keep going we need a higher low so the bounce will have to be off of one of these two um M mfi and rsi were maxed out for a while and then we exited right around the dump so i don't know if we're going to change direction yet until rsi and mfi hit down around this zone uh, looking at further lower on the one hour that's all the resistance that's happening so i have a feeling we're going to get a bit of a rejection we need to see on the inner uh, the inner time cycles whether we see higher lows right now on the hourly we can see higher lows um, in order to continue up, we got to break that. And if we do, I think 55, 5, 56 is probably the next target. That is it for BTC.
trade safe.